Welcome, Welcome back, back basement, basement dwellers to Twilight Princess HD. We, in the very end of the last episode, we said we were going to go up to the fishing hole where the lady with the afro lives nearby there and um, try to do the fishing hole and fish for goodies and get a piece of heart. Piece of heart, piece of heart, piece of heart. Piece of heart. Yes, piece of heart. <laughs> but we decided not to do that. That Whoa. was... That was a previous recording session. Tonight we have just sat down in the basement, we're recording anew, and uh, we are feeling plot progressy. So we're gonna plot progress. Yeah, just like this mailman's <laughs> gonna progress. Greetings, Mr. Grunty. I've come to deliver a letter. There's a letter to you. Two letters, in fact. Two? I love his little humming of the item get. Well, my business is included. <laughs> Onward to mail. <laughs> That's good attention to detail. That's, well, keen, let's, that's let's some keen it. ear gaming you've got Oh! There. Okay, are these our letters? Letters to Grunty. Dear Adventurer, Have been meeting and spending a time with you to trip to the location to uh, take care of yourself. Who are you? Uku. Oh, Uku! Hi, nice to meet you. Okay, post office notice. If I maybe I'll approach you at high speed. We already Wait, read these. Yeah, okay. the, the yellow ones. Here we here. go. Uh, finished production of the new type of bomb, which we Oh, read. yeah, we need uh, some water bombs. Uh, new page to destroy the power of bombs. They can place Star Wars bombs behind with a bow. We know, we know that. Yeah, we know that. The Nairo Association current main attraction is the handiest playground for grown ups. Right, me to downtown, rip back, zerk, walk, poo, walk, walk. I just rapid ride, hit his fishing hole. Boom. Uh, which we're not doing. That was the information yeah. we were struggling to obtain the last two minutes of the last episode. Yes. All we needed. <sighs> Check this out. Did you know you could do like this spinny. Whoa! Oh, awesome. No. Yeah, I just found this out. It's pretty sweet. You just hold the button that you would when you're not on the horse. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> to do the Am same I heading thing. toward the castle? No, I'm heading away from the castle. You want to be heading toward the castle. Yes. There's the castle. I found it. You tell that castle. Cool. So uh, anyway, you might be wondering to yourself, why, Ted, do you <laughs> only have two and a half hearts? At oh, the yes. beginning of a recording session, I mean, if you restarted the game, shouldn't you have more than that? And the answer is yes. Yes, I should. Uh, do you want to insert bonus footage here? <laughs> um, no. It was very frustrating, I'll just <laughs> tell you. I feel, I feel like you guys might hit the screen, because it was so dumb. Yeah. I was, we were trying to like, do an audio sync, and we were trying to like, get all set up and everything, and then the stupid... Uh, what are those things called? Attack tech tight? Yeah, attacked. Uh, was attack tack tighting me. A monster approaches. Yeah, yeah, you can't go up the steps? No. Greasy's you can jump of over them. giant Okay, okay, this is the problem I'm having. I'm getting shot with arrows. And you're pressing okay. all of your not dismount buttons. <laughs> Correct. Do you say buttons or buttons? Definitely buttons. Although I know that uh Kelsey would say buttons. Yes, my wife says buttons. She would say mittens, buttons, Satan. Mountain dew. Um, yeah. I say it the lazy way, too, because it sounds normal, and that's what everyone says, but every once in a while I say it correctly <laughs> instead. Well, I mean, you know, mountain. Here's a question for you. Don't answer immediately. I want to give our dwellers a moment to think about it in their own heads. Picture this word, specifically how you pronounce it. A-P-R-I-C-O-T. Got it? Yep. Now why we say it? All right, why don't you tell us how you pronounce it? A pricot. I'm just kidding. <laughs> apricot. Yeah, Ap never... a apricot. But you some never... people say apricot. Yeah, apricot. Which is really weird. My wife says apricot. Wait. I say apricot. Is it the wrong... I feel like this is where we're supposed to go. Down this alleyway. Nope. Oh, nope. You, that's you the you wrong way. Do? That's the wrong way. Oh, I know where you're trying to go. Hey, welcome back to plot progression. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're, uh, the plot well, thickens. Welcome back to us trying to get more way. done in fewer minutes. Okay, where's your... Where's your mini map? Oh, mini map down here. Okay, it's also in the lower corner of your screen. So go down. This way? Yep. And then follow the curve. Follow the yellow brick curve. And then you'll take a right. Wow. Down the stairs. Okay. Yeah, well, oh. you just, I mean, you have to go there a bunch of times. Or no. Left? Nope, not that way. Ooh. Well, crazy cat lady. Yeah, lives you gotta there. go until you can turn, take two. Ah, rides, yeah, I yeah. <laughs> the Simpsons, the cat lady. Oh my gosh, I watched those. The those the cats. I this watched way? the episode of The Simpsons where the cat lady's running then for this governor. Way. Yeah. There you go. Apes. Apricots. And they said, "What are you gonna do to stimulate the local economy?" And she was like, blah, 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 blah. "Small business incentives. <laughs> <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Corporate accountability." Blah, blah. <laughs> 
Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. I want to see had, that episode. She had good ideas slash was Whoa. crazy. It's Dr. E. Gad from Luigi's Mansion. E. Gad, he's awful to look at. Doctor, wait, if something wasn't done, this child will... Hey, girl. <laughs> he's like, yes, the girl I think about every day. And she's like, who are you? That's cold. That cat is like, mm -hmm. I know you. Also, I'm hungry again. Well, this isn't good. A human doctor won't do... Huh. What if she started eating the Zoro boy because he smells like fish? <laughs> She's, cat's like, I'm so hungry. Oh. Uh. That old coot reminded me, though. I've heard of a shaman in Kakariko Village, Eldenlands, who tended Gorons and Zoras. Is that true? Perhaps if we take him there... Why is she so worried about him? Does she have a crush on him? I'm jealous. It's probably. Link's jealous. But we can't turn a blind eye to a pretty girl in need either. Oh, those yes. guys are so we high better definition. escort you. Am I right, boys? <laughs> Look at the fat one on the right. <laughs> Little guy. I like. Who are they showing off to? Each other? They're what just pumping it? each other up. To reach Kakariko, we've got to cross two planes that are each infested by dangerous beasts. <laughs> There's some good humor safe in this now. Game. Her the eyes. Fatty's left. Her eyes look like. Uh, oh, time to go. His <laughs> short little legs. The little like gems around. Cowards, the, don't ever show your faces here again. Bartender's eyes look like the amiibo logo with the little color oh my gosh. things. Yeah, I wonder if you took her eye out and like stuck her on the Wii U pad if like something would happen. Probably. Probably might get blood in the Wii U pad. <laughs> <laughs> Pro probably. Definitely would. And not only that, but it looks like this brave young man will escort us. He's not standing up for himself. He's not saying anything. Link's like, oh. Therefore, he agrees. I wish I wasn't mute. It makes life so difficult. You know that girl, don't you? A oh, duh. <laughs> it's a real shame. She can't even remember her own name right now. Did you try telling her it's Ilya? her heart. <laughs> hey, I'll give you a hint. She found this poor boy collapsed in the road. So she did all she could to save him. More courage in that girl than in all the soldiers of Hyrule, for sure. Well, that's not saying too much, given the way they just ran away. Are you N N O F T? You lend, run off. <laughs> <laughs> Rune off. You lend a string that you hear. You hear me? Well, I'm having a hard time reading. <laughs> you are having a bit of a difficult time. Maybe my problem is bad. my enunciation. Yeah. Um, are you N N O F T? Is from. Oh, Brother, Where Art Thou? Have you seen that? I have, a long time ago. Yeah. It's a good movie. He's a suitor. Destroyed, huh? Then the only option is to cross the bridge to the east. There's a nasty old horse man. Oh, yeah, him. His horn is broken because we defeated him once in battle. And he's wearing a bucket. Bucket bonus. You see what that means? You have to deal with that thing. Hmm. Hmm. All right, you guys. Ooh, that was kind of nice. Get ready for a. I don't think they did quest. that in the uh, standard deaf version. Thank you so much for this. Um, if you don't mind me asking, what's your name? Grunty. Yeah, it's a Grunty. That sounds familiar to me. <laughs> Grunty. I will never in all my life forget your kindness, Grunty. <laughs> Unless oh, the same the thing irony. happens again, and I forget what happened now. Look at her like shoulder tattoo that's there because of the the window. The oh. text window, guys, if you want to see it and you didn't see it. I didn't see it. I missed it. Oh, the oh, little I'm swirly getting, lines the in the, the text, text thing. Window. Yeah, it was like, it looked like a little tribal got a little tribal tattoo. Thing. It's yeah. like, whoa, you have a past, girl. <laughs> we need a beast right now to keep the true ones at bay. If we make it to Kakariko Slave, we'll just thank him then, okay? I like a girl who's been to a music whoa. festival or two. <laughs> that lady's a little trampy. I'm just going to go out and say it. She likes the... Um, the Native American, like, shaman dude in Kakariko Village. Yeah, well, she likes everybody, apparently. I mean, she's I know, just but she moves. actually likes him, and she's just sort of, I need like, to, like, have my bow equipped, flirting. probably. I don't remember. You could just sword the bad guys. Oops. Oh, look at that. Uh, 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 uh. Look at the Wii U gamepad. Ted is setting his items. Bow and arrow to Y. <laughs> and, uh, All the buttons in the world could never the... save me. Guys, here in the basement, we believe in not remembering and reacquainting ourselves with the game before we start recording, so you can see just how human we are. Yeah, we're not robots. We're not like 
Robot Masters? I'm not Zelda man. Listen, I'm not Wii U gamepad man. Listen as I rub my human soul against the microphone. Mmm, that was tender. Yeah, so solely. <laughs> I'm a soul, man. <laughs> Alright, now it's time for the... Is that what you're going for? Yeah. <laughs> I just purposely not singing the notes. <laughs> Monotone. See, he's wearing like a barrel for pants. He's got. That's so comfortable. He needs I want a man's barrel ear. pajamas. Okay, it's your turn, honey. We're counting on you, honey. I actually have a good story about barrel pajamas. Really? Sort of. Not really. All right. <laughs> no. Uh, sort of. So, um. There is, uh, so... <laughs> Oops. Well done. Well, we're gonna get a game over one of these times here. Yeah, you can't ride, you can't ride straight into him. Well, I had a plan, <laughs> but the horse didn't turn on a dime. Hmm. Whoa. Can you, like, Z-target him? I hope. Are you supposed to arrow him instead of sword him? We already did that, right? Right, where we hit him with the sword and he falls off? Yeah, I think we did. Ooh, this is tense. Whoop! Oh, wow! Game over screen. And you died. Forever. You fell down the pit. Okay, so next time in the basement, different game, because that's it. We're not going to buy another copy, and well, that's the way this game works. Okay, stop rubbing it in, game. I want to retry. They got okay. pl to play the whole musical. Okay, back to Barrel Man Pajama Story. So, in American football, in the state of Colorado, there is a football team called the Denver Broncos. And one of their longtime crazy fans that went to every home game was known as Barrel Man. Pajama pants. Yeah, he was this old guy who wore a barrel over his underwear, and then he had suspenders holding the barrel up. Nice job! Oh man, he's so much easier when you just shoot him with the arrows. Well, they, I don't think they let you do that in the first one. Oh, well, yeah, he didn't have the arrows yet. Yeah. Whoa! I just kept a fighting star. Put it in my pocket. Catch Save it for a rainy day. You got the gate key. You're gonna open the gate. Hey, bartendy. Oh Not my gosh. Love, honey. Keep I want to play Oregon work. Trail and put that lady in there and and Ilya and and the oh, and the that's Zora. a good idea. And Grunty. And Grunty, yeah. <laughs> um, we need a fifth person still though. Okay, so the Denver Broncos fan, Barrel Man. He, he'd stand outside and cheer for three hours wearing a barrel and suspenders in Colorado at elevation, like 5,000 feet above sea level. Wow. In October, November, December. Rainy day, sunny day, he was out there. Yep, didn't, and most days in Colorado are both of those at one point or another. Yeah, it's better to just ride, I think, and then you're gonna need your wind boomerang to put out the wagon if it catches on fire. It's on fire! Um, yeah, and uh, I went to a couple of Broncos games when I lived out in Colorado. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I lived in Colorado for a while. It was great. Yeah. And uh, I'll talk about that That's more That's when sometime. you met your wife. Oh, so you need your key. That is where I met my wife. Anywho, uh, he, I went to a couple of games and I saw him, and he's just like this old man with the skin showing in the elements every time. And I was like, that's got to be hard on you. I, I talked to him? No, but I just thought to myself, boy, that's gotta, oh, be, sure. that's gotta be rough. And then a few years later, he died. Whoa! Yeah. Of... I, not like at a game. <laughs> he was an old he guy. He died of being in a barrel. But it makes me wonder <laughs> makes me wonder if he would have done better if he hadn't done the whole barrel thing. But maybe, you know, even if so, he probably wouldn't take it back. Because, man, he was living life. Have you ever read about the guy that, um... Like, I know, like, people go to sporting events and hold up... Thanks, shooting. Yeah, uh, pro tip. Z-targeting. Z-target the crap out of this. Get out of here, though! Oh, no! It dismounted! <laughs> yeah, pro tip. Stay on your horse. <laughs> uh... Oh, you have to be with them when they take the turn, otherwise they do the loop. I think you have to, like, lead them to the right when the path Got branch it. is there, okay. otherwise they loop. See in the lower left how you're off the dotted red? Well, you were. Oh, this isn't good. Before you press Z. Yeah, you're doing good. Keep going. So anyway, what was I saying? I had a different story. About living life, dying, not taking it back, barrel man. Oh, sporting events. Okay, so like people go to sporting events and they hold up John 316 signs. 
It's like a thing. <laughs> Thanks. I was just about to fix the problem. Oh, what did she say? Some about She's bombs. Like, Looks like that horse got startled by the bombs. It's like, thanks, I was trying to fix it. You interrupted me. I must I, have missed it, though, otherwise she probably wouldn't have told me. I, yeah, I was gonna say, I wonder if it's scripted and you have to do the loop twice? I doubt it. Or if it's just if it happens twice, she helps you out. But there's, like, one guy who, like, sort of started that. The whole John 316 at sporting events. Yeah? And he went to so many things. He went to, like, uh freaking tennis matches like the Wimbledon or whatever the big thing is and like all sorts of different sporting events and stuff and he got really good at knowing where the network cameras were and positioning himself ah, in such a way seriously where are those bombs coming from okay the, John 316 the, the bird is dropping them maybe I was trying to kill the bird the worst part is like you go into Z targeting mode and it screws up the horse so bad yeah you can't like move it's a little- the whole horse mechanic thing is a little awkward, but I read somewhere that, um, uh, Miyamoto wanted, like, horseback riding to be a part of Zelda from, like, the get-go, but it's always been limitation problem. Like, how hard is that to do on the NES? It's impossible. So we gotta take care of the bird. Um... But yeah, they finally got to do it in Twilight Princess. Also, I watched a really- I, I swear, if you hit me with the bomb again, Oh my gosh! I'm gonna. <laughs> How many arrows do you have left? Well, I keep getting arrows from oh, fighting yeah. guys, but you have you have the full amount you can have. Oh, mm. <laughs> I'm gonna rage out on this. Ah, uh, it's so annoying because they all all of the guys show up right at the stupid spot bridge, and then you have to like take out the pig riders first. Uh huh. But the bird is up in the air, and you can see it, but because Z targeting picks the closest guy to you, you, like, have to... So don't Z-target. <laughs> and then that happens! <laughs> you, seriously? <laughs> Gosh, I am so angry right now. <laughs> I'm trying to plot progress here. Meanwhile, I'm getting hurt. This is gonna be one whole episode of this stupid loop. You know what? Where did you go? Where did you go? Uh, I'm gonna kill you. They're very on fire. <laughs> Everyone's gonna die. <laughs> That's what they get. How is it their fault? They should be better drivers. So maybe you can go at like go ahead or take a shortcut or something. I killed the stupid bird. You but then, sure did. Oh my gosh, you Ilya burnt alive. I in told there. you they were on fire. I was trying. Hey, I was stinking trying. All right. We'll be right back. Welcome back, Mason Dollars. <laughs> to I swear. Ted's night of rage. Okay, I got two stories going. <laughs> I don't remember both of them. Yeah, you're talking about John 316 guy. Yeah, the John 316 guy. Maybe I'll remember the other one. So he he got really good at like knowing where the network cameras were and stuff. And he was unavoidable, and he had the rainbow afro wig okay. that he would wear, and he'd get a lot of attention. Well, he ended up like like falsely and inaccurately predicting the end of the world. Like he became convinced that like on a certain day or something. Okay. So he was in... What, what was he? He was, like, in a hotel? A hotel room? And the cleaning crew came in? And he, like, kidnapped one of them in the hotel room. Whoa. Like, kept them in and locked the locked her in the bathroom and was making demands, and she was a hostage. And he's like, the world's gonna end. Call the news, you know, tell everyone. Like, I need to get the word out. I don't want to hurt her. I just need this attention. Like, get me on the news. I need to tell the world an important message. And of course he was wrong and the world didn't end. And then he went to jail for, whoa, Greasy, <laughs> where are you going? <laughs> Did you see your horse just getting put? Yeah. <laughs> that was amazing. Gosh, I'm trying to really just get in the zone here because I need to, I really need this to work. Um, yeah. For my sanity. Okay, well, I'll yak on and on, and you just go ahead and focus on gaming. Um, so, our microphone's really drooping. So, anyway, um, there's a really interesting video somewhere out there for free on the YouTubes. 
about this guy, the John 316 guy. It's like maybe 60 minutes did a special <laughs> or something. Hey, nice. And uh, like somebody sat down and did an interview with him and he's like, yeah, if I could turn back the clock, I definitely wouldn't have kidnapped a hostage. <laughs> that was a bad mistake on my part. And nicely, it sounds like he's like matured a lot and he doesn't like force his views on people quite so strongly strong. anymore. Yeah. That's and like, cool. you know, I think his heart was in the right place when he was doing what he was doing. Well, but I mean, like, yeah, if you really if you really feel like people are gonna get hit by a bus, you're kind of a jerk for not saying something about yeah. it. Yeah. You know I mean? Doesn't and matter if he you're... really thought the world was coming to an end and he could help a lot of people if he just got the attention needed. Uh oh. It's a different loop. I know. <laughs> <laughs> this is the bane of my I, you know what? Miyamoto. Oh, come out and say it. You just reminded me of my other story. Okay, just hang oh, on. I'm so glad. Let me say this first. Sure. I need to get this off my chest. Yeah, Shigeru, if you're listening. I'm cool with horses. And we know I'm really you are. cool with horses. I'm not cool with stupid... Z-targeting? Uh, well, Z-targeting on horse. horses. Get out of here! <laughs> I swear, Midna, if you interrupt me one more time... Midna? Oh... My gosh! OMG, guys. Um, I'm gonna die of stupid dumbness. Okay, ah, so... Gosh! <laughs> yeah, uh, but you'll start over having done the first... Oh, I hate it when you get caught on that tiny that's little That's what I'm lip. talking about, it's stupid stuff like that! Like the horse couldn't step over that little thing. <laughs> Take that, Link. Wow, I've arrows never to the face. The arrows <laughs> hovering in midair. I've never seen a death on the horse before. Ah, oh, you guys, I am unprecedented material here. In I the am basement. so angry. I don't think I've ever been this angry at a Zelda game before. Really? Okay. For real. Before I get back to my Shigeru Miyamoto, okay, related story. Question. Oh, I got to do that first loop again. Have you? Mm, have you beaten? Twilight this? Princess? Yes. Okay. Would you? I am just. It was. It's I'm an furious. easy game, right? It is. I mean, this part isn't easy, and we're playing on no, hero this mode. No, this should be easier. But like, I you've just... said before on the show, on the channel, that like, you've there's a lot of games you've played and gotten like eighty percent of the way through, and then um, not finished. Yeah. And I just I didn't know if this was one of them or not, but oh, this seems yeah, like a this hard one, one to I actually mean. do that with because. You know, either people get discouraged at that hour-long tutorial sequence yeah. at the beginning, or they power through that, and then, like, the whole game... It's not really about trying something over and over until you get it correctly. It's just about, like, figuring out the boss and doing it, figuring out the dungeon and doing it, figuring yeah. out how everything works and doing it. It's almost like an interactive story. Yeah, what I don't what I don't like about what's happening right now because it's so easy because there's so many hearts and so many heart drops and the reason all that, that this is hard, but yeah, this is not is because of the controls. Poor design, like it is really hard to like get the thing to do what you want it to do. That's not a good way to make something hard. Well, and I think it's challenging because it's challenging. There might like that that right there. I just, yeah. How am I supposed to do this? The horse getting stuck the horse on gets stuff stuck is super on annoying. A short hop wall. But like, sh and there's the bomb. So now we're in the loop. Yeah. What is causing the bomb? There's a bird. Is it I gotta really hit the bird, but I can't hit the bird if there's guys in the way because the guys. Oh yeah, he's carrying a bomb. Take my right Z there. targeting right off. Can you like put out the bomb with your boomerang? I know, Midna. I know. What, what, where are you going there? I don't know what's going on with this thing now. Um, I feel like I didn't have that much trouble with this, but maybe it's because I was playing it on the Wii and- Wow! Good job jumping that wildebeest. This, I gotta say, I'm sorry that it's not fun to play, but I'm having a lot of fun watching, and I think that this is more enjoyable to watch than you think oh. it is. Are we on a second loop now? What's going on? Why is this bomb there? I don't know. Maybe it's not actually an exact location thing. Maybe it's just when the bird has a bomb and gets overhead, he drops it, and that's that. I mean, obviously, they're taking the same loop that they did before now. I thought once you killed the enemies, though, they didn't all respawn once you took the loop? I don't know. Oh, nice. Doodle -doodle you got there. a blue rupee. That's worth five. Neat. 
Okay, so the Shigeru Miyamoto story that I wanted to tell. Yes, not, go not, ahead and tell now. Not that really I'm a Miyamoto story, but um, Kenai Gaming tweeted a link to a YouTube video to us, to our... <clears throat> um, oh, you made it. Yeah. To... It was, it was like, it was account. about how, like, a bunch of things you don't, might not know about Twilight Princess, right? Yes. I didn't and, watch this. And he said, you guys have played Twilight Princess, you probably know many of these. However, some of them are pretty interesting. And, like, if he thought that was true, then I knew that there would be some stuff in there that we didn't know, you know. Because <clears throat> he tends mm -hmm. to be thorough and know his stuff. Yeah, it's true. And there was some really interesting stuff, and some of it, like, I had forgotten and then re-remembered, and it was really cool. Uh, but some of it I didn't know at all. One of the things they said was Shigeru Miyamoto, um, you know, wanted the horse riding thing for a long time, and they were really happy to be able to put it into Twilight Princess and blah, blah, blah. They said uh, one of the animators, maybe, or something, the modelers, was like, went to a horse riding camp or something to study up. I did it, you guys. You did it. I did it. I did it. It's done. That... Quest is done where I'm, like, helping them get through. Like, I really hope I don't have to do this again now to no. get them to the city. Oh, I think, actually, there are two of them. One's later on, though, I think, right? Yeah, it might be a while. So, anyway, <sighs> do you know the fate of his mother? they went to an American horse riding place instead oh. of the, like, more common traditionally. Oh, we can skip all this text. Blah, 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 story. Okay. Uh, instead of like a more traditional like British one, because they wanted Link to feel more like an American cowboy, and that's, oh, that's why. Cool. That's also why there's like a that Western scene that's so much fun to play later in the oh, game. Remember yeah, that? Yeah. Yeah. With like the whistling and the tumbleweeds and the shooting. Yeah, with I arrows. really like that. Yeah, that's a really sweet, t uh, like, area, chapter. Yeah. And they, they show the little cutscene where, like, the horse rears way up and Link's riding on it and there's the moon in the background and it goes in slow motion. Yeah. And, and Keen Eye got that great screen capture for us of that, remember? Oh, yeah, yep. With our little logo in the corner. <laughs> hey, awesome. Grunty, about Ilya, she doesn't remember anything. Is it true what they said about her? <laughs> yes, she has lost her memory, Colin, and as you're gaining it, it'll be a simple task. No simple task. Oh gosh, I am st I am still fuming about that. <laughs> that was so frustrating. It's it's so hard when you're trying to like help. Yeah. Your viewers have a good time, and I have yeah. to watch the same stupid thing over and over There's again. There's something worse about Ugh. guys. Listen, I, I know. It's like trying to put your keys in the car when you're being like chased by a raptor. <laughs> it like makes it harder because you're freaking out. Oh man, keys are difficult to work in a panic uh but yeah it's guys it's difficult to record knowing that like everyone might be a little bit frustrated with your performance if it's not good and that just makes it like triple it's like when everyone's watching you know yeah yeah you know it's it's frustrating when you're home alone and you make yourself a nice lunch and you drop your plate in the kitchen that's frustrating <laughs> but when you're like in the when you're in the high school cafeteria and you drop your tray and the whole place goes silent for two seconds and then it. some yeah. jerk claps Oh, that's basically what just happened to or Ted like, here on the channel. <laughs> or like when you're setting up for a basement session and then you like knock over Peter's whole 24 ounce of coffee onto his carpet, which may or may not have happened about. Oh no, it totally didn't just happen. About 33 minutes it ago. It totally didn't. Doesn't still smell like mocha frappuccino on the floor. It's kind of awesome. A oh, passageway at least. So to the she's castle. talking about a whole bunch of stuff. She's like part of a secret society group that like does a bunch of stuff, and then she just frolics away. Yeah, she. Moves younger than she <laughs> Yeah, looks. I was gonna say she's very spry. La, 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 la. <laughs> like Chris Farley. <laughs> I'll be waiting for you, honey. Yeah. That's what I imagine she sounds like. Oh, oh she winks at him a lot. Whoa. She winks at everyone. He's like, whoa, she hot. Dang. <laughs> Dang. Older woman. What what? She got a booty like a Cadillac. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, hey, if Ilya forgot, then I don't have to break up with her. <laughs> <laughs> Could totally go with Wait, what's like, that behind me? Is it wind for my bangs? Whoa. Oh, it's a ghost. Ooh. Well, that wow. was very cinematic. That was a little like creepy. That would be imagine how creeped out you would be. If the music I, I were imagine. different. Oh, this okay. Way. It's broken. Oh yeah, she leads us to a really cool place. Uh this time in the basement? Uh, Should we see where she's taking us? 
let's see where she goes next time in the basement. I agree. That's right, Ted. All right, guys, thanks so much for hanging out with us, for putting up with this wonderfully hilarious, angry, and frustrating, and upsetting, and Thank funny, you for your patience. wonderful episode. Um, if you're listening to this, then you are top-notch in our book. And thank you so much for liking and subscribing and being with us down here in the basement, dwelling with us, having a seat on the couch right here next to us while we play. And we'll see you guys um, next time for more Twilight Princess, but also tomorrow for more some other game. There's a few other games we're playing right now. We try to switch it up, you know, have a different different game every day. But new video every day, so uh, come back tomorrow and check for more content. Bye.